Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Digimon card and game Battle of Omni booster box opening. The fifth Digimon set is officially out. This is actually the fourth set for the English version of the Digimon card game, but the fifth set in Japan. So it is called uh, BTO5 for that name, Battle of Omni. There's plenty of different Omnimon in this set. Picked up the box. It's actually a smaller uh, box than normal. I believe there is only two secrets. Yep, and 10 supers in the set as a whole. So you're bound to pull some doubles all together. But once again, I wanted to pull uh, some more support for some of the other decks I want to work on. And I'm a big fan of all the different alternate arts in the uh, set. So let's go ahead and get started with the opening. Uh, hopefully I can get the plastic off. If not, I might have to... Uh, yep, and they definitely use the high quality plastic seal for these, but hopefully I can get it. If not, I might have to resort. So yep, I don't want to damage the actual packs inside. So quickly there, hopefully we just... Yeah, this is like insanely strong. Or I'm just, you know, not, I don't want to use all the force there. But after the minute of opening, we're finally able to get the box open. So let's see what our box topper is. And it's actually the same, for those of you that don't know, I opened this on my other channel as well. It's the same art. It is Nokia Shiramine. So really good promo though. I like all the tamers in this set and we get 24 packs in total with 12 cards per pack. So definitely a good number of cards to pull. So hopefully we should pull at least one secret and one alternate art or two alternate arts. So we'll quickly go through um, all the different commons and then the uncommons as well. Hopefully you all can see it. Like I said, it's a pretty small set, but uh, a lot of good cards. I already finished building Diaboromon, so this is actually an extra box with all just stuff that I'll probably end up moving and trading to other people. But other than that, uh, hopefully you all can see the individual cards for the entire box. I think you get between eight to nine uh, cards in total, Diaboromon, awesome. I already pulled, that's two Mega Digimon Fusion in a row. That's what I mean. There's not too many uh, rares in the set either. So expect doubles for a good amount of the cards. I believe there's six different tamers in this set also, but all very, very useful, depending on the color you use them for. And once again, hope you all can see the uh, commons. We're just quickly going uh, through them. Uh, I think most of you from other openings have seen the majority of them. And we have a Chaos Gallantmon for our first of the SRs. Very, very nice. This uh, Chaos Gallantmon is for purple. I actually have a Gallantmon deck that is for red. I'm definitely excited for the uh, new decks we'll be getting for Gallantmon and Vidramon. I'll definitely be building the Gallantmon support from that deck. But once again, if you've seen most of the cards, I'm just gonna quickly go through them, but you should hopefully be able to see all of them. We have an Earthshaker and a Terriermon Assistant for our next rares. Doing my best to keep the rares and the commons and uncommons separated also. I don't want it to be a too, too long video, but once again, if you're subscribed to both channels, you're getting a treat because you're seeing both of the box openings. But like I said, I did the first one on Kira Twig 2, so I figured the second one can go on Kira Qualia since uh, everyone likes Digimon, so we have different varieties on all the different channels. Our second SR is Metal Garurumon, so this is for the black deck. I believe it's Digiburst with Reboot, so not bad at all. I think I've pulled both of those cards from my first original box, but like I said, this is a pretty small set, so expect to pull doubles for a good majority of the SRs. It's the secrets and the alternate arts that I'm curious about. I pulled alternate art Gallantmon from my first box and alternate art Omnimon, I believe it might be. But uh, for this set, we have Black War Greymon and Metal Garurumon for the rares. And I believe they announced set six is in October. So we'll be getting even more support and even less Digimon that I'm familiar with from that set. So I'm curious as to uh, what deck I might want to play, because I always build the decks for the Digimon that I'm attached to the most. And like I said, I don't know too, too many of the Digimon that are in that set. There's a Rata Sonata and All Delete for our two rares. So I've already pulled more foils from the left side, I believe, than I did from the first box I opened. All the foils were on one side, 
and that was the right side. So we'll see if they split them up more evenly with uh, this set. And yeah, there's just so many cards in one pack. That's what's insane when you have to quickly go through them all. We have an Omni Shoutmon and Omnimon as well. There's a pretty good Omnimon. It's the cover card as well. So a good pull there for sure. But like I said, there's so many different Omnimon in this set. I think you're at least guaranteed to pull one type of Omnimon, uh, depending on what it would be. Uh, so next pack. But yeah, I finished Diaboromon. I've been loving the deck. It just is so much fun to play. Even if you don't have the promos, I thought there was a uh, alternate art, but it's Megadramon and Ty and Matt for our rares from this one. But yeah, even I only have a couple of the very expensive promos for Diaboromon, and even without them, you can still fill out the majority of the deck with all the different Digi evolutions for Diaboromon, from Infermon all the way to Caramon. So let's see. We have... Uh, Zeg Greymon, uh, Blazing Storm Metal. And for our rares, we have Were Garurumon, Sagittarius Mode, and Shoutmon DX for our next SR. So yeah, like I said, we're going through a good amount of the SRs already from this side alone. Not complaining, though. I like seeing a good amount of hollows, and I believe I've lost count from the hollows from the first box, but I believe it's eight to nine hollows. It might be eight, uh, just because of the small amount. So I'm curious to see if I'll pull a secret rare or if I'll pull two alternate arts from this box as well. So we have Renamon and Catastrophe Cannon for our two rares. And we have Last Pack on the left side. But all noteworthy Digimon also that I pulled so far. Metal Grave, <laughs> Metal Grave, Metal Garurumon, uh, Omnimon, Shoutmon, all ones I recognize as like mega level boss Digimon also. And we have Metal Garurumon and <laughs> it's an alternate art Armageddon. That is awesome. I was wondering if I was going to pull Armageddon, but pulling an alternate art because of the fact that I run this deck is all the better. I already have one copy of this card, so a second alternate art to add to the deck definitely makes it that much better. I definitely love the alternate art more than the original art. So if I can get a full alternate art playset, that'll definitely be a plus. I don't even know what this card's going for. I know it's, the set's officially out now, so I'll probably be checking prices after this video just to see the price of everything but on to the right side and once again i think we've gone through um, all the commons and uncommon so far or at least showed a good majority of them we have infermon and argomon and diaboromon and keep mixing up the uncommon spot with the rare spot but the last two spots there are for the rare up next we got five hollows so far, so three to four left. Of hopefully still either a secret or one more alternate art to pull. And there's Agumon and Kiwimon. We have Sora and Joe. And we have Omnimon Zwart for our next SR. So two Omnimons so far from this one box. But like I said, there's 10 SRs in total. So there's a good chance you'll pull a lot of the hollows, obviously. But they're still good, and they're all like final level boss monsters, depending on the deck you want to build. Next pack. I love the Starmon support with Edamon. I don't even know if there's an Edamon in this set, but all the other cards are pretty uh, hilarious uh, running with the Edamon. I can't remember if Edamon is in the new Digimon series or not. I haven't watched too much of it, so I'm not 100% sure if he makes an appearance. I know Devamon does. I think he's considered the main antagonist for a good while there. But I don't know if Edamon makes an appearance. And we have Nokia Shiramine and Sakuyamon for our rares. We have just so many commons and uncommons in one pack. You definitely get your money's worth for what the individual packs are going for. I believe like 4 to $5 retail. But still, uh, that's a lot of cards to work with. A good variety, I'm guessing, for depending on what people want to play. We have Catastrophe Cannon. And, oh, nice. We have our second alternate art SR, and it is the Omnimon. It's actually the Omnimon we've pulled already. And here's the comparison between the two. Uh, very, very nice. I love that they have the little Omega symbol down at the bottom. It kind of goes for how you can combine the arts with some of them. These are my two alternate arts from the box, but sadly they're both on the left side, so they're not the arts you combine together for the art style. But very, very happy with those pools. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should have two more hollows to pull maybe, or one. Still got a good amount of packs left to pull, so we'll see. 
I think I got my two secret spots filled with the two alternate arts that I pulled. So no complaints though. I was happy with both of those pools. There is Sagittarius mode and we have a Hexa Blaumon. So once again, pulling another alternate, not alternate, super or SR off the bat like that with still six packs left to pull. So let's see how we finish the opening. And starting off with Caramon, the good searcher Caramon for unidentified Digimon. I've been playing the deck, so I'm really happy just that I've gotten down with the play style. Takumi Aiba and War Monzamon. Two rares I don't think we've seen yet either. All right, next. I'm, I'm happy with the alternate arts, though. There are two I didn't pull from previous boxes, and I'll take them. The Armageddon's definitely going into my deck. Is an awesome looking car. There's Coromon with a piece of meat behind him. Uh, War Greymon and Easy and Mimi for the dual tamer rare. Four packs, I believe, remaining. Let's see here what our final couple cards are. I think I pulled a lot of Weedmon, but like I said, this is a small set, so I think I pulled a good majority of a lot of the different cards in it. War Monzamon and Sora and Joe. For those rares, three packs left. But once again, happy with the hollow. I don't know what the prices are for some of these, but I'm definitely happy with the majority of the pulls. And the Rosemont art with the roses all over is definitely awesome as well. We have all delete, War Greymon for our two rares there. Two packs remaining. Let's see how we finish this. Troopmon. It doesn't feel like I've pulled that card. I've gone through a lot of the commons. I might have missed one. But like stuff like Gladimon, I know I've pulled a good number from this box alone. Izzy and Mimi. And Black War Graumon with the last pack. I don't remember if there's anything left to pull. I think, yep, I no secret rare because the two alternate arts took up that secret rare spot. So let's see what our final cards to pull will be, if it's even anything. Skipping over the Sunomon there, we have a Nokia Shiramine. And uh, look at that, our last card is an Armageddon, the normal art. So we pulled two of the same cards from the set being the Armageddon with the original version and the alternate art, Omnimon, along with the original Omnimon. But all in all, I'm very happy with the results. Uh, I think nine foils in total. So yeah, definitely some good ratios there. And I hope you all enjoyed this opening as always. Until next time, not sure if I'll be picking up any more of this set. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out. Out.